up up in it's your boy TJ welcome back traders to the channel today I'm talking about the journey of trading the experiences that you go through the mistakes that you make you also have to make mistakes in order to progress same thing as in life you must keep going you can't give up just because you have bad days like I uploaded a video yesterday yo I had a bad day Tokyo session the buys we put in that video currently at 16.50.80 I'm jumping in sales right now, but if you was in that trade, it was some good profit. I'm jumping in sales to around 16.33 area again for a retest and then back to 16.78. Analysis will be on the screen and I wanted to just obviously go down the road with you all about taking losses and learning to be okay with taking losses. Like I feel like a lot of people put themselves down when they take losses, but it's not as bad as what you think. In the end of the day, you're gonna wake up and go again. You're not gonna give up. Giving up isn't in our mindset. You know, it's just not in our mindset. We can't give up. We're, this is a journey that we're taking and we wanna progress. It's one of those things where you know, you know what's happening. You know what's gonna happen. You're gonna take losses, but the rewards are better. And then when you start hitting trades, five to ones, 10 to 1s, 15 to 1s, 20 to 1s, and you start holding them trades out and improving your psychology over time, that is the best feeling ever. Even with prop firm challenges, accounts, the funded accounts, you're gonna lose them at some point, it's guaranteed. To be able to trade consistently, depending on your risk, in terms of if you're using 0.5% or if you're using 1%, you should be okay. If you're, like, you're trying to use like two, 3% per trade, it's not gonna work out. It just won't. And that's not because you're a bad trader, it's because you're using too much risk for these challenges slash the funded accounts, you know. You might be in profit on the funded account and then enter double the lot size, take a massive loss and then lose the account. Could be slippage. Any of these things, it's all against you. The rules are against you. So it's about managing your risk, being okay. Being okay with the same lot size or the same risk. People struggle with this, with trading. But if you're using the same lot size, it's the same risk. As long as you're taking a similar sort of SLs, you should be fine. It's when you start getting emotional and over holding trades that are SLs that you should have closed earlier on, not even taking an SL, but now you're further deep into drawdown. And that's all lessons to be learned. Once you make those mistakes, you have to act on them. And it's about acting on the mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes, but you gotta act, take responsibility, take action on it, and make sure it doesn't happen again. It could happen again, but it's an emotional roller coaster trading. It's an emotional roller coaster where it's a lot to do with self-development, a lot to do with yourself. Look at, look at how you can become better as a person. Get your discipline in play. Even if you don't want to do certain things when you wake up, every day is the same. That's how you got to look at. Every day is a day to better myself from yesterday. And that is how you need to look with trading and your day's day life. It doesn't matter if you're in a nine to five, if you're self-employed, it doesn't matter if you haven't got a job. It doesn't matter about any of that. With trading, if you just give time, keep trading, even if it's demo accounts, just keep trading, keep learning. No one's saying you have to become rich in five, 10 years time. Could take 15, 20 years, but when you get there, it's gonna be so nice that it would have been worth it. And it's all a journey in the end of the day. We're all on this mad journey together. It's a crazy one, trading's crazy. I don't see trading going anywhere. Even if currency goes out the drain, there's always gonna be crypto or the next currency that you can trade facts. So if you're having bad days with trading, it don't matter. In a year's time, you could be insane. In six months time, you could be insane. The next week, you could be insane. Learn to take breaks. It's always good to reset your mindset. Do not be sitting on the chart 24 seven. A lot of people just look at their phones 24 seven. Another bad thing, if you have buy sell limits, obviously it's good to react when the market, when your trades open sometimes, you need to see what, what's going on. Sometimes you have to make that psychology SL, but all in all, if you just have areas in the market where you think it's gonna buy and sell and just set them limits, 
You don't need to over trade, you just wait. It's a marathon, not a sprint, you hear it all the time, and it's true, you just take your time with these things. Progression, it takes time, you know? You gotta, you gotta do it, you gotta do it, you gotta make mistakes, you just gotta be careful. I hope you enjoy videos like this, I wanna keep uploading on the main channel, get the content out there, because I know a lot of you guys appreciate it, a lot of the haters as well appreciate it too. So thank you all for supporting me, if you want to join up the free trades, link is in the description of course. And yeah, more stuff coming. Two shorts we upload every single day on this main channel. And also the Reacts channel. Make sure to go watch that. I, I will look at other YouTubers videos. Give my opinion on them. Have a bit of fun. It's all good and it's all fun and games. Anyway, it's been your boy TJ. Much love. Take it easy. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.